Okay, in this example, we want to find the limit uh, using L'Hopital's theorem. So we're in this example, we're given that the limit, or we want to find the limit of x times e to the neg negative x as x approaches infinity. So just like before, what you want to do is you want to do a direct substitution. Okay, so we're going to evaluate this as x goes to infinity. So this is going to give you infinity times e to the minus infinity. And e to the minus infinity is the same thing as 1 over e to the infinity, which is 0. So this is going to give us infinity times 0. And so this is not equal to 0. Okay, I just want to clarify that with Okay, this is not equal to 0. This is actually indeterminate. Okay, it's an indeterminate form. Okay. Um, so you can actually put in into using either e using either Maple or Mathematica or any of the computational software tools and type in infinity times zero and it will give you a, a uh, uh, indeterminate result. Okay. So then, therefore, we need to proceed on by applying the L'Hopital's theorem. Okay. So we can go ahead and rewrite this as. Okay, we want to write this in fractional form. So you have x times, we can put e to the minus x in the denominator. So it's going to become e to the x. So in order to use L'Hopital's theorem, we have to, we have to make sure that our, uh, the function that we're working with is in fractional form. And that's what, we, that's what you see here. Okay. So then from there, okay, what we can do now, okay, um, we can actually just do a direct substitution to see what we get. And then when you do that, you get infinity over e to the infinity, which again is going to give you, right, this is just infinity over infinity, which is also indeterminate form. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and apply the L'Hopital's theorem. Okay. So, so we're going to take the derivative of the top with respect to x, take the derivative of the bottom. with respect to x and we get the limit as x approaches infinity of one since the derivative of x is one divide by the derivative of e to the x so we know that's e to the x and then taking the limit of this you get one over e to the infinity okay so e to the infinity is just infinity since since the exponential function is, is increasing as x increases. So this is going to give you 1 over infinity. 1 over something getting larger is 0. So therefore, the original limit of e to the minus x as x goes to infinity is 0. And that's what you see from the graph here. This is the graph of x times e to the negative x. As x gets larger, the y values will start to approach zero, or begin to approach zero, okay? And if you recall from pre-calculus, um, that is uh, y equals zero is actually the horizontal asymptote for this function.